Hello Webflow Pros. This is a quick tutorial showing you how to add an SVG within your Webflow project and easily be able to change the color of that icon on hover or any type of interaction you want. So if we jump into your Figma tool and don't worry if you don't have Figma, I'll show you another way to extract the source code because that's what we need. Um, but if you do, follow along. So select this Facebook logo we're going to right click and then we're going to scroll down to outline stroke just ensure you click this just to clean it up right click again and then we're going to flatten that icon this just ensures that the code is nice and clean when we bring it into webflow now one more time right click and copy and paste and copy as an svg now we're going to go over to our webflow site and as you can see within the site structure which you can learn with this video above we are going to add by selecting command E and which is going to bring up the search panel. We're going to type in embed, press enter. It's going to drop your embed into the site structure. Now with the HTML embed code editor open, we want to command V and now we've got that clean code that we've extracted from Figma. Again, I will show you how to get this without Figma in the next step after we've fixed this logo. So at the top, we have the width and height. This is going to uh, bring in the width and height that you have set it to within Figma. So this is great if you have a pixel perfect design and you want everything to be optimized perfectly. I will show you another way to keep this responsive, but for the moment, just leave the size and the view box exactly as is. Now, we want to get rid of fill up here. Fill equals quotations none, because we have a duplicate down at the bottom here. So. We want to double click black and this is what's going to be able to add the function of changing the color to your icon. So we are going to set this to current color. Now when we change the, uh, the text color of this embed, it's going to change the icon. And I'll just show you down here. As you see, it's already pulled in <coughs> the color from the body. But if we change this to red, as you can see, it's changing to whatever you want. Now, make sure that you're naming things using BEM. So uh, we're gonna type in BTN underscore Facebook. I will do a video explaining how to name things properly. So keep an eye out for that. Press enter. And next thing we want to do is come up to layout and ensure that we've got this set to flex, centered, aligned, and justified center. It's gonna ensure that the Facebook logo is centered within the embed. Now, just set this within your uh, Webflow project to the size you want. And that's uh, good to go. Now, the second way to embed the code and the second way to keep the icon responsive, I'm going to show you. So let's duplicate this logo. Now we've got two. Let's get rid of the code. Now we've obviously got nothing inside of here, but if you don't have Figma and you just have the SVG, what you can do is come over to the asset panel. As you can see, I've already pulled in the Facebook SVG you can click open asset settings and you'll see this little um, box with an arrow click that it's going to open up the icon within google now right click that and you want to view page source as you can see we've got the code here just copy that back into your embed and do the same but this time with the width we want to put it as 100 and with the height we want to set that to auto this is going to ensure that whatever size the embed block is within webflow it's going to fill 100 and uh, 100 of the height or um, at least 100 of its own height now remember get rid of the top fill and then replace the bottom fill to current color Save and close. And now, obviously we've uh, got the same naming convention so this has already copied in the flex, but what we want to do is change the size. So we're gonna type in using BEM naming structure, a combo class, we're gonna type in is dash dash responsive. And now what we're gonna do is type in 10 viewport width and then auto. 
as you can see this Facebook logo is much bigger but let's publish this actually let's add a hover interaction uh, to both of them so let's go back to the first one and then we're gonna uh, drop down to hover and when the user hovers on this it's gonna go bright red go back to none uh, add a transition we're just gonna add a normal 200 now as you can see when we hover over it it's changed into red let's just see this in action once it's published open it up and now you can see both logos working with the color change and if we change the size of the browser you'll see that that Facebook logo on the right is responding and um, becoming small even to the same size as the other one now obviously do your checks within Safari and Opera but this is a quick way to change the colors add horror interactions and then also have a responsive icon let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any other ideas to add to this, but there you go. That's how you can optimize your icons. Thank you.